I could really use a change of scenery yeah. Everybody smoking all the greenery yeah. Close the match cause they were handed down to me But I'm still fly, I'm still fly, I know Yo, check this out This is not your average review for going full nerd, okay? There's no superheroes No sci-fi action No car chases, none of that it's just a social media personality from YouTube making his Netflix debut. And, it, and there's a reason behind me making this review. I mean, there is no way in hell I could legitimately review this show. And you can ask why. Well, because how can you actually review something made by a friend and say something or make comments that are good, bad? or indifferent because you know if you say it's good then people think you're just being nice because it's your friend okay if you say something bad then you're being a hater so as always i'm just going to be brutally honest okay and i'm going to say don't let anybody fool you this is not a straight from youtube to the big screen thing i mean my boy he earned his spot and he earned it by working hard and nobody can take that away from him I mean, you know, going viral is not something people plan on doing. And you have to give him credit where credit is due because he's kept himself relevant. He's kept his reviews relevant. And as there are many copycats out there doing, the, trying to do the same thing with the food game. Okay. So here's the deal. Dame is the prime example of making YouTube videos work for himself. Some were good, some were bad in the beginning, you know, but hey, he refined his craft, he learned from his mistakes, and he moved on. Um, he's no stranger to the small screen. And I'm, when I say small screen, I'm not talking YouTube and you guys on your phones and, and, and on your computers. I'm talking television, okay? I mean, he's been on Dr. Oz, Rachel Ray, uh, he had a show on Travel Channel, you know, and his presence on camera is 100% Dame drops. I mean, that, that, that's, that, that's pretty much it. I mean, I got a few, a few of the boys. We'll, we, we'll, we'll rib him and talk about a couple of uh, key phrases that he uses that, you know, kind of originated in our little uh, chat group. But that's cool. But when you're watching Fresh Fried and Crispy, you're going to get all the facial expressions and all the voice tones if you have ever watched him on YouTube. And this is what you've grown to like about his food reviews. Now, as someone who plays video games with this guy, I looked at the show slightly differently because last year I knew he was out in the world filming this okay i didn't know it was exactly for netflix i mean he had a non-disclosure he was just gone you know when when somebody doesn't show up on the video games then you'd be like yo where's your boy at what's going on you know and you know it's like we, we were all sworn to secrecy nobody could say anything you know but you know we got the man they stuck man they stuck a giant q-tip up my nose checking for covid every other day i mean you know we get that and um you know he was going state to state you know, and he did this to keep his brand on the map and give you guys, the public, fresh, fried, and crispy. Okay. Now, you know, hey, he's the type, he's going to let his boys, he's going to let them know where he's at so he could get in on, so they could get in on stuff. I mean, that's, that's just it. Okay. You know, he had friends who could show up when he was filming as evidenced by if you look at the brief cameo appearance by his longtime friend and often collaborator c snacks during the las vegas episode of fresh fried and crispy i mean even when he came to baltimore he gave calls to the crew in the dc baltimore area be like yo i'm up here and everything but you know COVID, nobody was trying to go out there <laughs> hey we wasn't getting paid <laughs> no nah, i'm just joking but here's the deal okay what can I specifically say about fresh fried and crispy? Okay. Outside of whomever selected the dishes for him to sample, they were doing their best to have him eat 
everything he usually avoids in his YouTube channel. Things like the red rings of death, <laughs> crunchy water, you know, all that good stuff. They had my man eating beaver wheat, beaver meat, and, 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 and Rocky Mountain oysters. <laughs> Bull nuts. <laughs> Yo, but he he did it in stride and he put 100% of him into it. I mean, did y'all catch that slick move with the fry with the spam fries? You know that that little but listen. Okay, so here's the deal. If you're a fan of his flamboyant food review style, this is a must watch for you. All right? And I'm going to tell you if you're an executive at Netflix in charge of series development and renewals, I'm going to advise you, you need to give him just a little more creative control on the second season. Okay, trust me, it's going to pay off big dividends. You cannot go wrong. So here we go. Check out some of the food that looks really good on Fresh Fried and Crispy. I'll be honest, I couldn't do none of that seafood. That, yo. The allergies, man, I'll be swole, swole. I mean, like anaphylactic shock swole. And hey, between me and you, I'm going to call Monique up and be like, did you, did you see? He got a Netflix. See, you shouldn't have been messing around talking all that yin yang, you know, took the money where you could because, you know, you got to get that strong black lead, you know, regardless of what they pay you. Okay, I'm going to just put it out there. Regardless of what they pay you, you got to be out there to get them to do it. I mean, not, you know, nothing against all that, but, you know, hey, this is success right here. Do what you do. Check out Fresh Fried and Crispy, now showing all episodes, season one on Netflix. Anyway, I know I'm going to get a response to this. Eventually, I'll get a response to this. But anyway, peace, y'all, and I'm out of here. Say it with your chest now, say it with your chest I'm now I'm young, I'm free, can't nobody take